Welcome to Judgment Day. Hey everybody, welcome back. And we're gonna take a close look now at another one of my machines in my pinball machine collection. Today, it's Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines. Obviously, Terminator 3 was released to correspond with the movie of the same name. Now, I loved Terminator 3, not as much as 2, but I still really, really liked the third one. I realize I'm in the minority there, and I'm also in the minority because I love Terminator 3, the pinball machine by Stern. A lot of people didn't really take to it as much as I did. And 2003, when this game was released, was a huge huge year for Stern. There was the Simpsons Pinball Party, there was Lord of the Rings, two games that are huge fan and collector favorites, and then right smack dab in the middle was good old Terminator 3, and unfortunately it has not become a popular game and it retails for very little. Terminator 3 is actually Steve Ritchie's first design for Stern Pinball. Now anybody who knows pinball at all knows that Steve Ritchie has done a lot of amazing, amazing work for Williams. And then um, he went off and started doing stuff for Stern. And for Stern, he's done some great stuff like Spider-Man, which is awesome. If you've played the Williams Terminator 2, Terminator 3 is very similar. It's just sort of upgraded a little bit. I always looked at Terminator 3 as an homage to Terminator 2, you know, just sort of a newer version of it. And uh, because of it, I really like Terminator 3. Ball one lock. It's pretty much based around the Terminator 3 movie. If you look on the actual playfield, you have the Terminatrix here um, on the playfield. You also have Arnold here. Um, I remember in the photos, that was the one thing a lot of people didn't like. But actually, in person, they look kind of cool. Um, her actual skin design and the blue lights in her eyes are really, really cool. And they play a pretty much non-integral part of the game. The Terminatrix shoots the ball out at you right down the center. Terminator's just there for effect. His eye kind of blinks. It has an LED in his eye. It basically follows the movie a little bit and also parallels the rules of Terminator 2 a bit. You have stuff like payback time. You have stuff like the max escape. You've got the escape loops and stuff that are pretty much in the same place. Shooting around these command center awards. You can, you know, work up like a step ladder trying to collect all these awards. It's, it's very similar. The red mode, when you complete all the R.E.D. here, the whole game goes black, sort of, and these red lights just start pulsating. It's really neat. I love that. Love the, the red mode. Uh, you also have the ramps, which actually lead to payback time. The nice thing about this one is it has a third ramp right in the center, which is kind of a, a pretty dangerous loop. It's all metal ramps and wire forms. So it has a real, real metal feel to it. Now, if you were collecting and stuff in 2003, Stern pretty much was plastic. I hate to say it that way because it's not a bad thing, but Stern pretty much relied on plastic for stuff. They sort of did a little bit of cost cutting and that's still what they do now, which is why they're still around and I'm so thankful. Uh, but when Terminator 3 came out and you had all these metal ramps, it was so different at the time because you were so used to sort of the plasticky feel of Stern. If you take a look here, it also has uh, the gun trigger for the ball launch, very similar to like the Shadow and games like that instead of just a traditional plunger. The idea of the RPG, which is in the back box here, it's sort of a back box toy. You really didn't see any back box toys anymore because the Stern games used one fluorescent bulb along the back box. Terminator 3 actually has regular bulbs as well as regular flashers. So, you know, it's great because it allows a back box toy, which is pretty fun, actually. The RPG is kind of fun and addicting when you start really getting into it and into the different modes of it. Uh, but it also has a really great back glass look. I have Steve Ritchie's autograph on the Translite. I actually got this from a friend of mine, uh, Jack at Pinball Sales, who I buy all my new in-box pinball machines from. Um, he's a great guy. He sent me that um, one time as a thank you because I created a, a Family Guy review video, and as a result, he sold a handful of machines because of the video, and he sent me this as kind of a thank you, and it's awesome because I've never met Steve Ritchie, but I like his games. 
friend of mine actually gave me a Pinball Pro electronic subwoofer that he took out of one of his machines from Stern, and he told me to put it into Terminator 3 and try it out. I'm not much for add-ons and stuff like that, but it really does add a nice little bass to this particular sound system, uh, especially since at this point the, uh, the speech is a little scratchy. Sweet. Uh, back to the rules though, so you have that stuff, you have the lock right up the center, when you lock enough balls you get the multi-ball, and then finally what the goal is is to play everything and eventually do the final battle. Um, there are a lot of nice deep rules here, but the problem is getting to the final battle is not that hard, and the final battle is actually really fun, it's not that hard to beat, but it's fun. And then after you do that, the game kind of restarts, and um, I think that's why a lot of people love Simpsons, love Lord of the Rings, because in the home, the rules are so deep, there's so much, there's so many layers. T3 doesn't have as many layers. This is actually the second machine that I bought new in the box. The first was Monopoly by Stern. I actually sold Monopoly in order to buy Terminator 3 because I heard T3 was coming out and I saw the photos and pictures and information on the internet and I had to have it and it was a very very worthy sell buy you know sort of thing because I'm glad that I got T3 so I'm the first owner which is kinda cool there's nothing like new pinball smell um, and I really like it it was a worthy purchase I really enjoy it I, again I realize I'm in the minority but then again I also have a Johnny mnemonic um, so uh, you know what does that say uh, gotta get what you like and I love Terminator 3 and um, again I'm not sure if it's a keeper um, I have some memories of, of playing the game in a bar called the Plymouth around here my buddy and I would go there and we'd plunk some quarters down and we'd have little tournaments on it uh, have over a few beers but uh, that was after I owned it so in a weird way I really don't have any memories before the fact because I hadn't played T3 until I unboxed it uh, right here in my game room shoot here and here I'll see you on the next pinball showcase video thing. Bye. I'll be back.